story to tell. In today's low intensity conflict environment, the ability to project power from the sea has taken on new dimensions. This has led to the birth of new technologies designed to rapidly place forces on a beach and defeat an enemy through the doctrines of combined arms and vertical envelopment. In modern amphibious social activities, the landing platform dock is showing efficiency. It is a way to bring people and machines to the hostile coast effectively and safety. Moreover, it can provide necessary support actions. In the last 20 years, European countries have experienced a significant increase in the number of landing ships. The Netherlands, a country with low landing ships during the Cold War in the early 2000s, purchased two amphibious ships, Rotterdam and Schoenhandewitt. The ship we will talk about this video is LH-01, HN LMS Johandewit, the second landing platform dock amphibious warfare ship of the Royal Netherlands Navy. Johandewit's design has improvements over its predecessor, make the ship has a larger vehicle transport capacity than Rotterdam, which has demonstrated full functionality for dock and helicopter operations in all weather conditions. The ship displacing 16,800 tons. Her keel was laid down on June 18, 2003, and she was lost to sea on May 13, 2006. After trials and evaluation, the warship was commissioned for service on November 30, 2007. The motto of the ship is A Go Quad A Go, translated as I Do What I Do. With the required capabilities, the ship is also well suited for secondary missions such as military sea lift or disaster relief. The overall length of the hull of the Johan de Witt is 176.35 meters. The beam is 29 meters and its maximum draft is 6 meters. The vessel is capable of carrying out helicopter operations up to sea state 6. Operations with landing craft are possible up to sea state 4. The ship is equipped with a large helicopter deck for helicopter operations and a dock for large landing craft. The aircraft hangar is sufficiently large to accommodate up to six medium-sized helicopters such as the NH-90 or AS-532 Kuga or four CH-47 Chinook heavy helicopters. It has a well dock for landing craft utility, and it can carry for landing craft vehicle personnel. The dock is wide enough to support two landing craft air cushion, but to allow for this, the center barrier that splits the dock well in two must be removed. The vessel has an extra deck with rooms for command staff to support a battalion-sized operation. The ship has a complete drawn to hospital including an operation theater and intensive care facilities. A surgical team can be stationed on board. The ship is operated by a crew of 146 and a further 555 marines can be housed with full support facilities. Johan de Witt can be supplemented with an impressive number of up to 33 main battle tanks or 170 armor fighting vehicles. The ship also has a desalination system enabling to convert sea water into drinking water, provides a nearly endless water supply. Onboard food stores support the ship's occupants for up to six trade weeks before requiring resupply. It is equipped with port propulsion, enabling the ship to use dynamic positioning while sea basing. The ship is equipped with four star Wasila diesel generators with ported propulsion bow thruster, generating 19,800 horsepower. A top speed is more than 18 knots. The range is 6,000 nautical miles at 12 knots. The Johan de Witt is equipped with a sensor squid 
consists of a Thales Netherlands Ferry and 2D Air and Surface Surveillance Radar. The Thales co low probability of intercept surface surveillance and tactical navigation radar, and the Thales Gatekeeper Electro Optical Warning System. When participating in high risk operations, Johanna witnessed additional protection from frigates or destroyers. For protection against incoming anti ship missiles or hostile aircraft and swarm attacks, the ship has two goalkeeper closing weapon systems and four to six manual operated 12.7mm Browing or FN Mark machine guns. Goalkeeper's Gatling Principal 30mm gun provides a maximum fire rate of 4,200 rounds a minute with a range of 1,500 meters. To support the goalkeeper closing weapon system, a Thales Netherlands IP scan infrared search and track system is fitted. Four Olicon 20mm guns are located on the bridge deck. The ship's decoy system consists of four significant high core SRBOC Mark 36 launcher, which fire infrared decoys and chaff for confusion and distraction of incoming anti ship missiles. Johan de Wies home port is in Den Helder. The ship has participated twice in anti-piracy operations off the coast of Somalia, where it successfully disrupted pirate activities and patrolled the coast with a landing craft functioning as forward operating bases. Johan de Witt also supported the locals with medical assistance and supplying food and water. My video of Johan de Witt on Jung Chen blog ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.